Well, we survived breakup and now it's time to separate. I'm off to the big city to go visit my parents in Seattle. Rhonda's gonna be home alone in the off-grid cabin. How will she survive? Hi, I'm Rhonda. <laughs> I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. This week, Angie's going away and I'm staying home right here in Talkeetna in an off-grid cabin all by myself. Will I survive? And how do our weeks compare? And woohoo, I get to have fun in the big city. Sorry, it's a little noisy, so my route to Seattle, I'm gonna take the train down to Anchorage, uh, spend the night in Anchorage, and I've got an early morning flight tomorrow, and then my mom's gonna pick me up at the airport. So excited, I haven't seen my parents in a year and a half. Unfortunately, I left my TSA lap, so I have to redo that again. I figured it was going to be a while before I flew, but it was not bad getting through security. But it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. Ah, tired. It's going to be a long day. I was so excited to see my parents. But this end of the Alaska concourse is pretty dead at this time of the morning, but time to get some food. Today's an exciting day. You know why? I get my hair done after a year and a half. That's gonna be a game time decision. I used to have bangs. Now my bangs are down to here. I don't think I'm gonna have them cut into bangs again, but. And then to color or not to color? First color haircut. Thanks to Rachel. First hairdresser ever. <laughs> That's right. That is correct. It's like a, a small year. animal died in here. Yorkie got in a fight with a proper <laughs> Hello. Hey everyone, what an amazing week it's been. So I've been in Seattle all week, it's 70 degrees in here down here and uh, boy, after spending the last year in Alaska, the last six months with just nonstop winter, uh, snow and the trees haven't leafed out yet. My first impression of being back here is, OMG, it is so green <laughs> as you can see behind me. Uh, I'm at my parents' house right now. My mom has just an incredible garden. So that's a treat being here in the spring. And what a wonderful, what a wonderful thing to be able to come here Give my parents hugs after a year and a half of not seeing them. Uh, a lot of my friends, uh, Rhonda's and our friends, are, are all vaccinated, so we've been able to. I've been able to spend time with them and and give them all hugs too. And thank you all, all of my friends. It's just been such such an incredible week to have just a, a little bit of normalcy back and to be able to hop on an airplane and and come down here and see family and friends again. I had a great time going for walks with my parents and eating great food. I am looking forward to getting back home because well, now we're going to start getting the RV ready. It's above freezing every night in Alaska. We can de-winterize and hit the road again. Well, life here at the off-grid cabin doesn't change much. It's just one person doing all the chores. While Angie's off having fun with family and friends, I'm here working on a video and taking care of the puppies. I think I hear eagles. Good thing you guys are on leash. Come on. 
Well, Angie likes to think that I can't cook for myself when she's away, but I actually can. It's called instant Vietnamese pho soup. All it requires is a little hot water and a little soaking time, and voila, you have your lunch. So really, I can take care of myself, um, but Angie's cooking is a lot better, and that is one of many reasons I miss her. One of the inferred questions a lot of times when we talk to people about being off-grid at a cabin out here in sort of boonies is, aren't you afraid to be by yourself? And really, I'm not. I'm not af more afraid to be here by myself than I would be in town. Who's there? I've got protection, whoever you are. All you really have to do is just be aware and take proper safeguards. So for here, the one thing that you have to consider is wildlife. And that's why this time of year I carry bear spray no matter where I go. And I use mosquito, which I've, there's some big ones out right now. Uh, mosquito repellent helps a lot. And I think we probably have a lot more encounters with those than we do with bear. And honestly here, we haven't seen any bear. The one thing that I worry about more is if I have an accident and I'm out here by myself when there's nobody else around. Well, Angie's gone off and sent me a message with pictures of her walk around Green Lake in Washington. So I thought, you know what? She's got bird life and beautiful blue skies. And hey, the skies aren't raining here yet, but you know, we have a, a nearby lake and I think the loons are back. I've been hearing the loons. So I'm gonna go down to the lake and see if it's melted yet. And you know, see what kind of wildlife I might encounter. Um, but of course, I'm going to make sure I take some bear spray with me since I'm going to be walking through the, the woods. Bear spray. Don't leave home without it. See, the lake is pretty much thawed out, but still got a sheet of ice, so I don't see any loons. So see, Angie, I too can go for a walk down to the lake. It's a beautiful day here in Talkeetna, Alaska, so I'm taking advantage and I'm going to do some work outside. I'm going to use this, this sander to take down these really wide boards that wouldn't go through our electric planer. So Angie started this as we covered in our last video. It takes about 30 minutes per side. So obviously she didn't, well maybe not obviously, but we didn't have time to finish that. It's a lot greener, isn't it? It's only been like two or three days since I walked down to the lake. And I just thought I'd show you how green things change and how quickly they change here. Because you really didn't have any green in the trees. And now all the birches and cottonwoods are really budding out and the leaves are almost completely out. If I get a chance here, I'm gonna fly the drone again to see like how green it is. And I'm also curious if the lake is thawed out because if it is, uh, Angie and I will probably try to get out on it in the next couple of weeks. Actually, this is the real difference between being in Seattle and being in Talkeetna.
with sweatshirt <laughs> and an entire case of wine. Oh, nice. I bet you can't wait till we open that up. <laughs> now, now I'm really happy you're home. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the wine. I knew it. <laughs> nice Seahawk mask. I have one for you too. Awesome. <laughs> uh, well, the puppies are in the truck. Uh, and you said they're going to go ape shit to see oh, me. I'm sure. And I, I, I sent Rhonda a text. Anything. I'm like, well, aren't you going to go ape shit to see me? <laughs> Just the dogs. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what the both of us did in two different places and how I survived because clearly I'm still here. <laughs> clearly she hasn't killed herself with bad food or... <laughs> Mama's oh home. my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh I'm going home. crazy! Oh I missed you guys! Oh I missed you so much! Oh buddy I missed you! I missed you! Oh, oh. oh no! Okay, okay, no, I know, I missed you too, buddy. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, oh God, he's a little squiggler. <laughs> <laughs>